Are we ready? <laughs> Just, I want to make sure that it's not putting us on, because next to 91 is a, is the it's this one, through I mean, Springfield. Just let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My high school friends and I have recently decided to do a little weekend getaway to the cabins of Vermont, where we'll be pretty unplugged from the rest of the world. This will be the first time that I've had an outing with my high school friends in years, so this is very overdue, but I'm very excited. How you doing back there, buddy? Uh, honestly, relatively comfy. I mean, I've got, I've got very low range of movement, but... Cozy. I no longer have the tripod pushing into my chest, so oh, that's, that's good. an improvement. <laughs> that is good. This is Patrick. Patrick's been one of my oldest buddies since our high school days, and I'm very fortunate to say we are still very close. At first glance, people might think that we are pretty different people, and to that I agree, but we still have similar values, which is how we've been able to remain friends for so long. So we're currently in the car, about to do a four and a half hour drive to Vermont, and we're all just gonna hang out at a cabin, go skiing or snowboarding. How are you feeling, Kira? Feeling great. Kira is also a close friend of mine. While we weren't particularly close in high school, we actually ended up going to the same college. And that's where our friendship really got to bloom. So what time is it right now? for almost five o'clock. We left Brooklyn, New York at 9.30. So it took us about a full work day to get to the Airbnb, which is significantly longer than we were expecting. But now we think we made it here and it's like a really nice house. I just hope it's the right one. So I'm finally inside, but I haven't had a chance to really look at the place yet. I think we're gonna unload first. That's everything. All right, we're gonna start with the house tour. So first, this is the entrance. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff here. Um, no time to settle down yet. Make a quick left and you have the living room area with the TV. We have like a bunch of board games that we could play. Make another left. You can get swole here. You have a little weight rack. I, I don't know if there's like a bench or anything, but oh well, TV. Washer, dryer, and bathroom. All right, this is a shower. I think that's probably the sauna. Shower, uh, bathroom. Oops, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, we just yeah, shower, bathroom, and then sauna. we have a sauna. Check it. Woo! All right, it's not that warm in here right now. So a quick run upstairs, and this is your kitchen area. But I think what's most impressive is the upper floor living room right here. Obviously, it's like an open space. But you can probably hang out with a lot of people around no, here. No heat lamp. Nice. <laughs> that means we can sit out there. It's <gasps> only friends. Thanks for coming. Maple syrup. Very wide countertops. Lots of space. Lots of seats. And you can all gather around a nice fireplace so you can just chat, kick it, shoot the breeze, whatever you want. This is the king bed? It doesn't look that big. It looks pretty big, bro. I don't know. Can it fit three Kiras? Four Kiras? Can I test? One. Easy. Two. <laughs> three. Wow, oh. four Kiras. <laughs> That's how we do it in America. We right. measure. We use anything but the metric system. All right, what are we working with here? Okay, Another the top bathroom. is a little bit smaller than hoped. That's fine. I well, mean, no, because it's not. I was hoping. Uh, oh, this is another door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I didn't realize. It's, oh, hey, this yeah. is me. Okay. So it's it has jets, but it can fit maybe two, three if we're pushing it. Oh. I'll fit three in. <laughs> Here, get in, get in. Oh wow, she even put. Oh wow. Kira. Oh, fuck. oh geez. <laughs> Right now, the plan is for my friends to go grab their skis because they're gonna be skiing for both Saturday and Sunday. I'm only gonna be skiing on Sunday because I never managed to get a lift ski ticket on Saturday. I kind of waited until the last minute, so if it isn't the consequence of my own actions. But anyway, while they go fetch their skis, my plan is to unload some of the groceries and just get myself settled in the house.
Good morning, everyone. So as of right now, all the skiers and snowboarders have left the cabin. So now it's basically just me to spend the whole day in this cabin by myself. I mean, I have all of this real estate, all of it. I'm so excited. But the first thing that I have in business is, well, first of all, take a look at like the mess we've made. We haven't even been here for like 24 hours and yeah, we just have like our stuff everywhere. Not dirty, and obviously we're gonna clean it up before we leave this establishment. But <laughs> yeah, we made such a mess, what? Yeah, I guess it's just it just looks like a regular home. But anyway, I want to get my walk in, but it's 11, negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like negative 10 Celsius at least. I'm not too familiar with Celsius conversions, so. I've only been outside for like not even a minute and my nostrils are freezing up just from breathing in the air. It's actually really nice outside or it doesn't feel terribly cold. I'm not wearing a hat because I forgot to bring one and I'm dumb, but I don't think I need it right now. So that's good. This is honestly like a pretty good hill to do some, some hill training on if I wanted to. Like, let's, like a few hill sprints. I might do that, who knows. Not now though. Okay, so the walk and shower are done. I think what I have planned for the rest of the day is to A, eat lunch, and two, or B, edit this video that's supposed to come out in a few days. So today is 15th and it's gonna be talking about my first week as a product marketer. I guess a little update because now I'm two weeks into my job. There's nothing more humbling than starting a new role and asking like even the silliest questions. <laughs> like sometimes I just feel so dumb when I start a new job and I think that's normal, but it's like, it's like, gosh, I feel so incompetent right now and I can't wait to change that. But yeah, I just have so many questions swirling in my head and I just want to get to a point where I actually feel like I know what I'm doing in my job. But I know that requires time, so I'm not stressing too much about it. Another one of my goals is to keep this fire running. So it's been running since 9-ish nine, uh, a.m. this morning. It is 12 p.m. right now. So it looks like it's about time to restock some wood. So I'm going to do that. So it looks pretty healthy now. Good morning, guys. Are they leaving? As you can tell by the attire, I am on my way to go I ski. Think that's the fact. This is the first time awesome. that I'm well, going since like already, the end of 2014. Yeah, so I'm clearly a beginner in this in this realm. What are some expectations for for a first ski lesson or for a first day of skiing? Falling off the lift. <laughs> like when you're not like from a great height, but when you're getting off oh, the oh, lift. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you fall. I, I don't think I... All right, I'm not going to say anything in case you I... don't think you're going to fall. Okay. Is that what you were about to say? <laughs> no. That well, is what you were about, you were about to say. To say. I think that is a bad assumption. No. I think you will be falling. Was not gonna say that. Yeah. These are the bad boys I'm working with. There's a very good chance that I won't be able to film much because I'm not gonna be taking my phone out and I definitely did not bring my camera, so. I guess you'll just have to trust me when I talk about my experience after I'm done skiing. <laughs> See you guys later. This is a midday checkup. So I just had my ski lesson for beginners because I'm a beginner. Um, I basically learned how to turn and stop on like a very 
pretty much flat surface. And then I eventually upgrade it to this, uh, this hill behind me. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, you use something called the magic carpet, which is like this uh, escalator that you can ride your ski on and then you go down. Uh, I'm definitely rusty. I need to get back and try practicing there a little more. Okay, we are back from skiing. I just showered and we're now in a rush to get back home because there's a storm our way and my driver is very concerned about it. But anyway, skiing was fun. I got to go on the bunny hill for like a few more times and then just really hang out. I ended up going to the cafeteria because my feet were like in so much pain from wearing those ski boots. Like if you've ever tried ski boots, they're not fun to be in. But overall, pretty satisfied with the skiing experience. I just wanted to try it again for like the first time in eight-ish years. So it's been a while and it'll probably be another eight until I do it again. <laughs> now I gotta pack and call it. Um, this may be the end of the vlog. I don't even know if I really filmed that much to be honest, but in case I don't see you guys again, take it easy.